When you open Excel, the splash screen will pop up. It loads for a few seconds. The very first thing you are going to see is the new workbook view. You can either select a new workbook, choose an existing one or choose a template. Personally, I very rarely use these templates. Let's choose the blank workbook for this lecture. The whole window or file that you see is called a workbook. Inside the workbook there is this white range here known as worksheet. More worksheets can be added from the bottom left corner. By right clicking the sheet's name you can add, move, copy, rename, delete and hide sheets. Let's add a second sheet from this plus icon. I will type these cells cell 1 and cell 2. You can edit the contents by double clicking the cell or pressing F2 button. I will edit this to cell A and cell B. The text is quite small, so I zoom the sheet a little bit from the bottom right corner. 150% should do it. Now I change to sheet 1. As you can see, the sheet is still blank. That's because the sheets are individual entities. In later lectures you will see how to interact across the spreadsheets. I will change back to sheet 2. I select these columns by clicking the column headers while pressing Ctrl button. Then I right click one of the headers and select delete. By pressing combination Ctrl Z or clicking this arrow from the top left corner you can undo any changes. Now you can try deleting the columns by shortcut combination Ctrl minus. Excel has much more shortcut key combinations but they are not mandatory to use. Maybe the most important part I haven't covered yet are these menus. The whole menu system is called a ribbon and it has multiple tabs. By default there are 7 tabs visible. From the Home tab you can find all the features to format cells. The second tab is your choice when you need to insert shapes, tables or charts. Printing options can be found from the page layout. This tab is obviously for formulas. The instructions for formulas and various formula help tools are the most important part of this section. When you need to import or edit data without formulas, you should take a look at this tab. The Review tab is meant to finalize the workbook. Maybe two most often used buttons here are the New Comment and Product Worksheet. Then the View tab. This is quite similar to Page Layout, but these features are not for printing but to make sheet easier to work with. When you still don't know where to look for an action or button, you can simply type your search phrase to this little box. At the end of this introduction lecture, I will show you the most useful features behind the file button. It's important to know that it's possible to have multiple workbooks open at the same time. From this menu, you can create new workbooks, open an existing one or save the file that you are currently editing. If you haven't set your account details yet, the account section is the place to do it. Excel has somewhat overwhelming number of settings to offer when you click the options button here. You don't need to learn all of the configurations, but rather take a quick look what's available. You can for example change the size of the font or set the autosave frequency for your workbooks.